Hi guys, Law Lord here. And you know the commentator community on YouTube likes to make videos where they make jokes about other content just for laughs and entertainment. They do not mean any hate or anything, they just do it for laughs. Like Combat Wombat, Pyrocynical, Scrubby, just to name a few. Well guess what? Soon that will not be allowed because YouTube at VidCon has announced their soon to come creator on creator ha harassment policy which is pretty much a new rule that now you are not allowed to make jokes or speak your opinion about someone else's content I don't even see how that is even harassment because the youtuber that they are making a video on doesn't have to watch the video they don't have to listen they could simply just keep scrolling if however the YouTuber who made the video on another YouTuber, like, sent his fans to brigade that person's comment section. That would be harassment, and that would not be okay. But, like, 99% of commentators don't do that, because that's wrong. And they're just doing it for fun. And now that won't be allowed. Their entire careers are now under threat. Why? Because YouTube found out that the mainstream media such as Vox, was getting upset. And, you know, and YouTube doesn't like it when the mainstream media gets upset because that makes them look bad. So they go out of their way just to make them happy because it's financially benef beneficial to them. YouTube no longer cares about you as a creator. So first, let's talk about why this new policy came into place. Allegedly... I say allegedly because YouTube claims that this story has nothing to do with the new policy. However, everyone knows that it does. So, a Vox journalist named Carlos Maza, who is a member of the LGBTQ+, claims that a comedian and political commentator named Stephen Crowder made some offensive jokes about the LGBTQ+, LG... BTQ plus community that he took very very much to heart. However, they were just jokes because he's a comedian. However, these days in 2019, you're not allowed to joke about anything. And because of that, he demanded that YouTube punished him. YouTube said that he did not actually break any of their rules, so they could not punish him. This outraged him, and so he started writing articles about how YouTube supports hate speech and stuff like that. And so, allegedly, a bit after YouTube implements this policy or is about to implement this policy into YouTube where content creators can be punished for criticising other content creators if YouTube deems it as egregious quote from the article that I'm reading, even if said content creator has not broken any community guidelines. So basically, what they're saying now is, hey, even though you haven't broken any of our community guidelines, since you said something not so nice about this guy, we have to demonetize you now. Here's a big fat yellow. And so because of this, content creators are no longer allowed to have free speech. They're not allowed to have their own mind. You might be thinking, sure, but surely this doesn't apply to the commentator community that just makes jokes and obviously they don't mean it and they never joke about anything controversial. True. However, remember, YouTube depends solely, solely on their bots to do everything. And so how is a bot supposed to tell if something is so controversial and so not controversial simply because they made a joke. In fact, YouTube now has this... You know how if you swear in a YouTube video, you have a chance of getting demonetized? Now, this new thing also has a thing, thing where you can also get demonetized for bleeping out swear words. If you bleep out a swear word, you can still get demonetized. The thing is, now YouTubers don't know what, what they are and what they aren't allowed to say. Some dude 
I can't remember who he is, he got copyright striked because he breathed the same way as someone did in some movie. You're literally not allowed to breathe on this website anymore. YouTube is a private company, so sure, they're technically allowed to do this, but that does not mean that they should. And not only is this wrong, it is going to be their downfall. Amazon will realise that the creators on YouTube are not happy because of the way YouTube is acting and Google that's running it. And Amazon, because Amazon is one of Google's bi biggest competitors, might create their own YouTube-like website where you are allowed to post anything you want. Obviously, you're not allowed to post like dangerous content or anything, but where you're allowed to speak your mind and you're allowed to make fun of stuff. And then YouTube will go down because they're losing content creators because they're all moving to Amazon Tube or whatever. And so this probably, obviously this won't be that much of a danger to me because although I have made a few, vid quite a lot of videos of criticising people and content creators, including this one, I think including this one I made about seven, so although quite a few of my videos would be punished, my YouTube channel as a whole probably wouldn't be that affected. However, other commentators, like I said, who just make fun of people just for entertainment and don't mean anything bad by it, could suffer greatly. Their entire channel, their entire ad revenue could be stripped away from them simply because they said something that someone else didn't like. I just felt like I needed to rant about this. I'll put the article about this in the description of the video so that you can get more insight on this. And so, yeah, soon freedom of speech will be dead because of how easily offended people get these days. So now that I'm done here, I will see you in the next video. Bye.